So as you can see, there is a new common bot that has risen on YouTube. It's advertising a website called injap.com. And I learned about it because one of my viewers commented in one of my older videos and said, Hey, Deep Humor, can you make a video about injapp comment bot? I saw a lot of them comment on this video. Here's the link. So when I clicked the link that he was talking about, I found this Fruit Ninja Crazy Ghostbuster gameplay. I guess it's just gameplay of the iOS app Fruit Ninja. And when I looked at the comments, I found quite an infestation of these injapp comment bots. They do the usual timestamp thing that all these common bots do nowadays, where they write some random timestamp that's supposed to represent part of the video or something. But these bots in particular just say the same thing over and over again. We got everything we needed with ingeapp.com. Same thing right here. I prefer to use ingeapp.com. I've always got mine from ingeapp.com. You get the point. I don't know why this video in particular is full of so many common bots. I watched like a good 40 seconds of the video. It seems like a normal video made by a real person. So I'm not sure why this video in particular is attracting so many common bots. Maybe because this is an iOS app or something like that, and maybe common bots are attracted to videos that are made with a phone. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but since they're advertising an app, I just figured. But I'm pretty sure I know how these common bots avoid bans now. Because let's say a YouTube employee decided, okay, you know what, I'm going to ban every single comment that has ingeapp.com in it. I don't know if a YouTube employee can do that, I'm just speculating. But let's say they did that hypothetically, right? They wouldn't be able to ban some of these bots because of the fonts that they're using. Because if I control F inge app and I press enter and I go through some of the bots, you're going to see that some of them get skipped. Did you see that right there? That one just got skipped. So this bot right here, I don't know how they wrote this, but it's not getting triggered when you control F inge app.com. If it's able to bypass me typing inge app on control F, it would probably be able to bypass some sort of word blocker or word ban as well. Forget the YouTube employee thing, right? Let's say you guys go and block this word in your YouTube blocked section. I've shown you guys how to do that in multiple videos such as this one. But let's say you did that, right? This comment would probably still make it through on your video if this user commented on your video. So these bots are literally so advanced now to the point where they are actually being prepared to avoid being blocked or banned in some way. That's actually pretty wild when you think about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and now I gotta ask you guys the age-old question. Do you guys want to see in my next video me go on that website? I'm sure it's sketchy, I'm sure there are viruses or whatever, but I'll do it if you guys are curious. With that being said, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Your guys' support obviously means the world to me. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the situation, and subscribe for more. See ya.